completing an application in the funding service. In this session we will cover how to create an application in the funding service. So, how do you apply to an opportunity in the funding service? So, when you, uh, I think that you, it's definitely something you'd like to apply to, we would encourage you to go ahead and start an application. There's no ob obligation uh, to carry on and complete that, but what that will do will give you some insight into what it like, looks like to apply for funding. Uh, so let's go ahead and have a look at what happens if we go ahead and do that. You'll just need to confirm that you are indeed the person that is applying. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and create a, an account on the new funding service uh, or sign into an account that you may have set up previously. It's very quick to create an account. It'll simply be a case of entering your email address ideally from your organization and uh, setting up a password uh, and identifying the organization that you belong to and then you, you will create an account. Uh, so I'm not gonna go and do that. I'm going to sign into an account that I've already set up. Uh, and once you come into your application form, you'll be presented with a screen very similar to this uh, for the opportunity that you've applied to. What we can see here are the sections that we need to complete. It's just a case of working through each of the sections uh, and completing them so that before you can submit your application. And the sections that we see here are typical of a uh, research grant opportunity, but depending on, on the type of funding that you're applying to, you might see some different sections that you need to complete across the, uh, the left here. So if we go into a section here, this one's incomplete. What we can see is the, the question that we, we, we want this section to cover. Uh, importantly, all of the assessment criteria are available uh, above each of the sections that you need to complete. So this can help you as you're completing your application. Uh, but you may have gone ahead and done some of this offline in a Word document, etc. That's okay. You can copy and paste that into the field here. You've got uh, some basic formatting available to you when completing your application. Uh, some, you know, Greek symbols and things like that are all also able to be copied in. Uh, and if there's anything more complex in terms of diagrams that you want to bring in, uh, you're able to insert diagrams to be displayed in context with your application as well, as well as your standard bullet points, headings, and so forth. For each section, you'll be subject to a word count. Uh, it lets you know what the word count is. If you exceed that, you won't be able to mark the section as complete. Uh, and so that way we ensure that all the applications are within uh, the, the determined rules. Uh, and so if I were to mark that as complete and save and return, we can see that now all of the sections are complete. And now I'm able to send that through to my, to my research office. So once I send it to my research office, they will be notified uh, and they will have the exact same view of the application and they'll be able to check that. Importantly, you uh, as an applicant have this read application view, and this gives you the exact same view that your research office will have of the application, that uh, reviewers will have of the application throughout the assessment process into the panel meetings and so forth. So everybody looks at your application in the same way. Uh, and you can navigate through all of the sections that you've provided in your application and uh, like so, uh, we'll navigate to the different sections really quickly that you've provided. Uh, and also you could go ahead and print this page as a PDF or, or print it out on paper if you really want to do that uh, and consume the application like so. As I said, when you're ready to send it to your, to your research office, they can then check that if they've got any issues or if anything that needs to be corrected, they can send back to you to, to complete that um, before it's ultimately submitted to UKRI. Uh, but that's a quick overview of what the new funding service for UKRI looks like.
uh, and we do believe it will provide a simpler and better funding experience for uh, all our applicants uh, and assessors uh, moving forward. So, that is how you complete an application in the funding service. If you would like more information, then please go to our website, www.uki.org. For any queries contact the Funding Service Help Desk by emailing support at funding-service.uki.org or call the Funding Service Help Desk on 01793547490.